mauled by her family's pit bull last Tuesday has passed away. Police say she died Thursday from injuries sustained during the attack. Channel 2's Lori Tipton joins us now with the latest on that story. Lori. Maria, according to a family member, Isis Krieger suffered a broken neck and was brain dead when she passed away August 14th. The girl's great-grandmother says she had tried to warn her granddaughter and animal control that the dog was dangerous. <laughs> It was nearly a week ago in this East Anchorage trailer park when a family pit bull attacked a young girl and her babysitter. Just came around the corner, that's where, that's where he had her out, out here. Troy Danforth lives next door to the Kriegers and yeah, describes the family's pit bulls as friendly and playful. It was just an accident that happened, but a tragic one at that. He's known the family and the family pets for years. Played with them, fed them. You know, they're just happy-go-lucky dogs, that I thought, <laughs> until this happened. The last Tuesday, Danforth shot multiple times at the pit bull named Dozer, which was later put down by animal control. I don't even want to be around that dog. Any more dogs like that, I just I hate to say it, just get rid of them. Look at Isis, stuff in her face. <laughs> Wanda Ingesolian is Isis Krieger's great-grandmother. She says this was not the first time her great-granddaughter had been bitten by the pit bull. The dog was dangerous at four months old. What is he at four years old? Ingesolian told us she had begged her granddaughter to get rid of the pit bulls. She even called animal control multiple times asking for help to seize the dogs. She'll never smile again. She'll never look at us again. She won't know us. She'll never walk again, all because animal control didn't go out there and remove them god dang dogs. Angesolian says her granddaughter should be held liable along with animal control. My pain is not for me. My pain is for the pain my baby went through before she died. She played with that dog. She trusted that dog, and her mother knew that he was no good. As Ingesulian continues to mourn the loss of her great-granddaughter, whose death, she says, could have been prevented. The dog's owners are not facing punishment for what happened since it was not a criminal case. Uh, the Anchorage police turned its investigation over to Animal Control, which could have fined the owners, but we were told that Animal Control would not be, you know, issuing a fine for that because the dog was registered and it had its rabies vaccinations and shots up to date.